Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Flipping Fancy. As you can see, I finished another flip. Um, this house is the third of six that is completed in our Dixie Hills cul-de-sac. And I'm super excited because not only has it been completely sold, um, but we have just raised the comps in the neighborhood by $40,000. So I'm super excited about it, happy with the turnout, and I cannot wait to show you guys. All right, so if you guys are new here, make sure you stop right now and subscribe to the channel. If you're not, then you already know that my niche is to take old, abandoned, 1950 built homes and do complete gut renovations plus an addition. So that's exactly what we did here. When we bought it, it was about 900 square foot, a three bedroom, one bathroom with a little janky addition that the homeowner did. So we took that addition off, we added some square footage and turned it to about 1700 square foot, three two with a true master suite and the new owner is just as in love as I am. So before we take you through, let's start on this side. We have a guest bathroom and bedroom over here which is perfect because it's separate from the other bedrooms. Um, our bathroom here, so you guys know I love a good blue theme and you guys know I'm all about the details. So my favorite with navy is brush brass and I went ham with the brush brass this time. Down to the door hinges, the beautiful hardware. Um, so we come in here, I would love to switch it up. I really pay attention to design elements. So we went with two tone glass subway tile in here. We switched up the, um, the orientation of the tile in the band. We got a nice double niche situation here, a beautiful basket weave tile on the floor, some quartz countertops, and I loved this funky shaped mirror. So we put these in both bathrooms, and I am super happy with the turnout. And as you guys can see, I love the navy so much, I was like, let's throw it on the ceiling too for a little bop. <laughs> so then we go into our first bedroom. This is the larger of our two guest bedrooms. Great size, has beautiful flooring, lots of natural light. We carried the brush brass all the way to our fixtures and even our barn door hardware. This is the first time I've ever done brush brass gold hardware. Um, and I'm so excited with how it came out in these new barn door um, handles. So yeah, I had a lot of fun shopping for this house. You'll see it all the way through, but let's go ahead to the other side and show you. All right, so that leads us back to the front. We walk into our open concept living room. Again, if you guys know me, I'm a Leo, a fire sign, and I love to bring the heat. I love fire elements, fireplaces, and fire pits are two of my favorite elements to put in all of my projects. So, not only did I build this cool custom fireplace, it's electric, it does remit heat, it changes colors. You have the cutout for a nice big flat screen TV. You have your in-shelf lighting, and then you have lots of shelving to put decor and all kind of storage. So I thought this was a really good showpiece. It's great when you first come in, and it is a total showstopper. So living room leads us right into our beautiful kitchen. This is probably one of my favorite kitchens I've ever done. I love for every kitchen to be different. I love that every layout is different. So this is a totally new layout for me, but I'm so happy with how it came out. We went with a nickel gray shaker cabinet, a brush brass, really nice heavy duty hardware, and this beautiful quartz countertop. Um, as you can see, we did brush brass all the way throughout from light fixtures to the garbage disposal handle. Um, we did a beautiful little mosaic backsplash. I wanted to take it up on both sides, all the way to the ceiling. And then you guys know I love a custom range hood, custom everything for me. So this is a nice navy blue, ties in the kitchen well and gives a little pop of color. And then over here we just have lots of storage. Um, I am huge on storage. Um, built-in microwave and then I thought about putting a shelf here but decided I'd let the homeowner do it but this is perfect for prep if you do parties this is perfect for serving you could put a shelf there for decor or you could just do some tall decor but you have lots of options and I love options 
So then let's go to our hallway in here. You guys know from previous videos, I love a security closet. This is my brother's feature. He loves this so much. It's both for our benefit while we're flipping the house, but also a great feature for the homeowner and they don't have to worry about installing it themselves. So before we go to the last two bedrooms, let me take you down the hallway. So this is just our side door that enters from the garage so you don't have to walk through the front every time and then the laundry room so right now i am can you see me <laughs> so right now i'm super into building laundry rooms again you guys know i love to customize everything and af as i do houses i get more and more ideas and i'm like i can't wait to do it in the next one so not only do we have this super cute frosted um, barn door it's labeled with laundry we come in we have a cute little pocket door that just hides our water heater because we did not want to see that eyesore. Your washer and dryer goes here. You have lots of storage for all your laundry detergents and products. And then this is new for me. I put an actual folding station in here. So not only do you have storage, again, to hide all your clutter, you can tuck your little uh, laundry baskets down here. You can fold on top. And then one of my favorite features actually got this from one of my more high maintenance clients we put this in her personal home a while ago and i was like yes let's put it in flips now too so instead of having an ugly clunky iron board we now have a built-in iron board you just plug your iron in it has a little light switch and a timer and then you have a cute little view and some nice lighting to iron clothes all right let's go to the last two bedrooms all right, guest bedroom number two, again, um, looks exactly like the same. It's a little smaller, but nice lighting, nice details. The blue doors give a nice pop of color and our beautiful brushed brass fixtures. And lastly, our master bedroom. So you guys know how I feel about master bedrooms. They're up high on the list of things I love to build. And well, let me just show you. So we come in. You guys know I love the vaulted ceilings, a statement chandelier. We went ahead, we kept this a little more simple, gave her her own fireplace in here with the perfect TV mount. And then we gave her a cute little accent wall. You got lots of natural light in here, a nice pop of color that your bed can go in front of. And then I gave her two custom closets. So obviously this would have been like a his and her situation, but I found out after we put it under contract, it was a single woman and I was like, yes, let me give her a super dope closet. So, we have the pocket door vibes here. Also, just save some room. And then I was like, you guys know I love a good mirror moment. I love a full length mirror. And I think this is gonna be perfect for those mirror selfies, which is important. And then when you come in, you have a full length of storage for shoes. You have hanging storage for long dresses, trench coats. We took it all the way to the top. So your top, you have storage as well. And then you have plenty of top and bottom hanging storage too. So no shortage of storage is always the goal. No shortage of natural light and no shortage of details. So one of my favorite bathrooms I've ever done. Let me turn this fan off so you can hear me well. All right, so I always tell people I build houses for girls like me. So when my towel guy was towel in the shower, he was like, Ashley, why are there so many niches in the shower? And I was like, because I'm the type of girl, I'm a curly girl, so that means I have 50,000 products in the shower, soaps, body washes, scrubs, and I was like, I always run out of room. So I wanna make sure the next person has more than enough room for products. And when I met the buyer, she was so appreciative of that and I could not be happier. So you have storage here for linen. Again, you have an option for um, hampers underneath. You have your cute little towel rack here. We put those same um, mirrors in here with a double vanity. And like this vanity alone would never be enough storage for me. So if you come in the shower, not only do we have our frameless glass and our gorgeous um, tile, but you'll see my excess of niches in here too. So we have niches for soap, for shampoo, for body wash, 
literally all of it. And if this were a his and her situation, then there's definitely more than enough room to share. And then that brings us to closet number two. This one's pretty simple. It's just one wall of shelving. Again, hidden with a pocket door, so it saves lots of space. And she has more than enough room for clothes. If she's anything like me, this will turn into like a fall winter closet and a spring summer closet. But either way, no shortage of space. So lastly, let me take you guys outside. So we have obviously the side entrance and she has her own entrance as well. So like I said, we love the outdoors. We love to make our yard space really nice, even in this price point of house. So I typically design the outside and then I let my brother do the stonework. So you can see we do a lot more stone and paver work than most people. He goes a little bit crazy and he always says that I never give him this credit. So I wanna make sure I give him his credit right now. Okay, so I built it, I designed it and then he takes it overboard and executes. <laughs> so let me show you. This yard, you have so much space. Um, you have several tiers to the yard, so it's perfect for kids. It's perfect for animals. It's perfect for parties, for barbecuing. Like you literally have no shortage of space and you get a good mix of grass that needs to be maintained and stonework that's easy to maintain. So you have one tier here. We go up to our second tier. It's fully paved, and then you have your fire pit up here. So you have a nice view from the fire pit. This retaining wall can be used as a bench, or you can still put chairs around. You can put a grill out here, and then it's totally enjoyable. And then she still has lots of grass space too to entertain as well. So um, between that and the fully fenced yard, there is literally no stone <laughs> left unturned. Well, that is it for this episode of Flipping Fancy. I wanna thank you guys for watching and tuning in yet again. Before you leave, please make sure you subscribe, share, like, and tell a friend. And you guys know I have lots more projects I'm working on, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.